And there is just nothing that compares to the joy <laughs> of a child's dream uh, coming true. The guy at the end said it right. I've had my moment to shine. Yeah. The kid has never had a moment this big in his life. And the tears, I almost brought me to tears watching it. No, it did bring me to tears. I was like, oh, I love that. Because right? you know, when I fan, when I love somebody, oh, yeah. I am all in. Yes, so you are. I get his joy. I just think it's wonderful. And honestly, meeting those Yankees, like to see them in person, especially Aaron Judge, as tall yeah. as he it, it's, it is like... It's you amazing. cried as well, didn't you? I did not okay. cry, but I smiled no really hard. <laughs> I would too. I would too. So we've got uh, another day that'll make you smile. Right now, we're in the middle of a beautiful afternoon. I mean, just look at it. This is our camera atop the Empire State Building. Just gorgeous out there. So mostly sunny, officially 66 degrees right now. We have a light variable wind in the park. Uh, we're looking at temps that are in the 60s across the board. So everybody's in the 60s this noon. Uh, Matawan at 69 is the warmest temperature. We're on our way to a high of 72 degrees today. So if we we hit that it'll put us three degrees above what is considered normal for this day of the year obviously we have not been uh, in the upper 60s so far this week the closest we got prior to today was yesterday at 65 degrees temperatures are going to drop significantly for Friday and even more for Saturday so anything you can do to enjoy any piece of this afternoon you'll want to get outside and do it high pressure is keeping skies mostly clear keeping things nice and dry but of course this disturbance is what's heading in our direction and so while it is quite a significant storm in the nation's midsection when it gets to us. Rain is one of the biggest things that we're concerned with, but also uh, gusty winds. So we have issued a yellow alert. It's really a heads up for you for late Friday into Saturday that we'll see some steady rain, gusty winds, possibly some coastal flooding with this system, uh, and that may impact your plan. So turning on your future cast, we go through today, mostly clear skies, really just beautiful out there. The clouds start to increase tonight, and the models have been fairly consistent over the past few hours, showing us rain as early as 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, this sunny, dry weather does not last long. Rain at 8 o'clock in the morning. Another wave continues to roll through. So basically, count on it just being a soggy Friday with some pretty heavy rain at times. Thunderstorms may be embedded with this system as well, especially as we head into your Friday night and the overnight hours into Saturday. So this is 2 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, you didn't have plans to be out. But if you do, just know it could be fairly stormy. And then unsettled for Saturday. So we'll continue to see damage damp, rainy conditions. Even as we head into early Sunday morning, it looks like a little bit of rain. Just how much rain we see depends. The European model giving us 1.4 inches. The GFS showing us 3.4 inches. So obviously this could be a soaking rain. Mother's Day right now looks to be uh, starting out with a little bit of shower activity, then breezy, 62 degrees. We should see a little bit of sunshine out there on Sunday afternoon, but just know today is the pick of the week for a reason. Things kind of go downhill from here. Jessica? All right, we'll soak it up. Thanks, Elise, and we'll be right back.